guys, it's your girl Taya, and I'm back with another video, 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 video. What's understood doesn't have to be explained. Maybe just unwind. Today's video is actually one that's pretty sensitive for me because I am literally exposing one of my biggest insecurities. Um, some people have the insecurity of body hair, or pimples. Or I don't know just something else and this one is it's pretty deep to me because I've had a partner a boyfriend I've been in a relationship with someone who at first was kind of insensitive um, when they were talking about it and it really it made me feel bad you know it just made me feel bad knowing that I'm already insecure about it and then when I tell you that I'm insecure about it you take it lightly and you're joking and you're still hurting my feelings <laughs> I'm not a doctor so I'm not about to go into all of the um, exact exquisite uh, very informational detail on what it is but I will tell you that it is a chronic inflammatory skin disease <sighs> that cannot be cured so I personally do not like because hate is a strong word I personally do not like when I see videos that say how to cure seborrheic dermatitis how to get rid of seborrheic dermatitis um it's not something that you can cure or get rid of it's just there and you can treat it you can help it you can uh, you know bring down your inflammations but you can't just it's not something that just goes away like it's with you for life and there's you know flare-ups and everything else like um I, I know it's personal for me especially but I'm pretty sure other people deal with it too and that is uh flare-ups that occur when it's cold outside so fall winter it, it tends to flare up more then. When it comes to all these different treatments, it is not a one size fits all treatment. It's not. It's not. It's not. Everybody's septum is different. Everyone's is different. It affects them differently. Um, you can have your flare ups due to freaking what. Hormones, stress, definitely stress for me. This is something that I deal with that I'm more on the insecure side about and it can mess with my self-esteem sometimes because I'm like, I didn't want to be a flake face, you know, so what the heck, you know, why I had to be me? Why I had to have this? I didn't want it. Basically, when I was growing up, it's just like, oh yeah, dandruff. Use this shampoo, use that shampoo, um, use this medicated sulfur 8 stuff, it'll help. But when I say it's not working, I mean it's not working, it's not working. It's like, it's not curing this, it's not treating this, it's not helping it, it's not... If anything is making it worse, it's irritating me. I don't like the smell. It smells terrible. It I don't like the smell of sulfur eight. It is it burns sometimes in my open cuts that are in my head. Just I don't like it. And I don't know, like I know it's something that lots of people have and I shouldn't feel insecure about it but I do because it's just literally freaking flakes all over my face like on my scalp in my eyebrows um on the sides of my nose and like the, the uh, 
what do I call this? Like the nape hairline um, of my neck behind my ears, in my ears. It's just freaking all over my face. And then and your face is the first thing people see when they look at you. Well, it's supposed to be. But like I'm like, yo, you can't tell me I have a nice smile and then turn around and tell me you didn't look at my face. You know? I finally got told exactly what it was when I went to the dermatologist um sometime in 2020 I want to say it was about July so you know I let it build up I let it build up I let it get really bad because with me being insecure about it you know I pick it I scratch it I try to exfoliate it I try to hide it you know the best way that I can especially with it being on my face around like my eyebrows my nose I just don't want people to immediately see it so um for this particular checkup that I was getting ready for because I had an appointment ready um yes it was bad and which is why I wanted to get seen about anyway to know exactly what it was but like I said I didn't try to hide it I didn't try to hide it I didn't do anything to temporarily treat or try to hide it so that the dermatologist could see everything at its worst form and tell me what is this you know so I let it get really bad and yo, I'm gonna insert a clip in here that I recorded on snapchat simply so that I could have it documented for a really bad time in case for some reason it should start to clear up before my appointment I could show the doctor this video and they could see it whatever whatever my purpose was for recording it I have it and I'm going to insert it in here so y'all can see It just looks so bad. So freaking bad. Like, I don't feel pretty. I, I don't feel beautiful. I feel like I look like a flaky freak. Um, I feel like someone's going to see it. And even in that video, somebody watching this right now is like, Oh, it's making my skin crawl. Or, oh, that looks like it hurts. Well... You skin crawling people, that's that's what contributes to my insecurities, okay? I I don't want to be looked at like ill or that's gross or why you, you're you're dirty or what's wrong with you. And it looks like it hurts people. It it does. Sometimes it really freaking does. It does hurt. So I don't know. I just I just doubted like so much. I'm like, well, why do, why do I have to have everything? Why do I have to be the kid who has scoliosis and skin problems? And like, why does everything have to happen to me? You know, why, why did I have to come out like this? Why did I have to get it? I don't want it. You know, I mean, nobody wants it, but like, I just beat myself up about it sometimes because. It's right there. Like, I can't make it disappear. Even even after going to the dermatologist and getting a medicated shampoo and um, an oil. Like, I have oils at home. What is your oil going to do that mine isn't? You know, you say it's medicated. You say it's supposed to help. It, it's, it's not changing anything. It's still here. You know, I still have to live with it. The shampoo is only in the little bottle. Do y'all see how big this bottle is? What am I supposed to do with this? It says, apply the shampoo to damp skin of the affected area and um, the wide margin surrounding this area. Lather, lather it up, leave it in place for five minutes and then rinse off with water. And when they give you this tiny little bottle, they tell you, wash your hair three times a week. Then the next week, wash it two times a week. 
then the next week wash it you know one time but how am i supposed to do three two one with this tiny bottle and it's very bad and all over my head and ev just everywhere what, what am i i use the whole dang bottle in one wash like what do you mean okay whatever so that's what's on the shampoo bottle and this is the oil now they tell me you can put this in your head on on your scalp and i don't know i guess the lady who gave me this also said that i could put it in my eyebrows if i want y'all this stuff does not help me it doesn't freaking help me you know it's it's still here it's still something that i'm trying to hide every day do you see what I'm saying? So, I don't know. I just figured I had to tell y'all before somebody got into my comments talking about what is that on your face? Or if I do a skin a skin routine and then the next day you see my face and you see some flaky stuff, you're like, how you do all these routines and you got flaky stuff on your face? I just, I don't know. Because it's there. Like, bite me. What do you mean? I don't know. I get defensive about it not something I like to talk about but like even even right now this is my scalp right now as you can see that is pretty bad but it's definitely been worse and it's in my eyebrows too around my nose here around my nose Right here, and there are you know lighter spots, some flake, some build up right there. It's in my ears, you're not really gonna probably be able to see that, but it's in my ears on the nape of my neck or my hairline, or however you want to choose to describe that area. But you know, I actually had somebody talked to me about what's in my ears they're like oh you got you know some you need to clean your ears like they just look over you need to clean your ears you know so i already know what it is but you know i'm like now you brought it to my attention now that i know that you see it i'm like you know trying to discreetly get it out but when i rub it it makes it worse so then it just looks worse than what you initially saw it at and told me i need to clean my ears like I don't know, sometimes I just feel gross, like, I just feel disgusting, but, anyway, I don't know what to do, sometimes I just deal with it, I felt gross, I feel unattractive sometimes because of it, I feel like. Like I couldn't do anything. Like I, I couldn't do anything with my hair. That's what I felt like when it comes to little quick weaves and protective styles and crochets. Of course, you're not supposed to keep it in there forever. But I just felt like every single hairstyle, if it could last one person three months, it would last me two weeks because my scalp would just get itchy, irritated. Just it's just hard to do. I, I was discouraged when I started my lock journey because um, the person that retwisted my hair for, I want to say, the second time or really technically the first time that she retwisted my hair. So start the locks and then you retwist my hair and my condition had got so bad that it's, you know, she's not a licensed hair. A licensed hairstylist and I feel like even sometimes licensed hairstylists don't exactly know what they're doing when it comes to people with conditions like these and she's like trying to comb it out and she literally took out all of my locks like I had started maybe I don't know maybe a month or two months maybe three months in I don't know whatever it was whatever it was 
my hair began to lock. So it started locking. She literally was combing out all of the locks just to get the flakiness out of my head and comb it out and scratch it up. And not only was it very freaking painful, and I had like scabs on top of that in my hair, but I started over with my lock journey because you just combed out the part that was starting to lock. It made me start over. I'm just like, yeah, no, I'm gonna have to do this myself. I can't trust people with my hair. I was just discouraged. I mean, then eventually I did trust somebody else with my hair, but they're my sister, you know, from a different mister and everything else. But, you know, it's my sister, so she is the only other person that really gets into my head like that. It's definitely something I am still insecure about. Even after opening up and dropping this video for you guys, I will still wake up in the morning and do my best to exfoliate and moisturize and try to hide so I'm going to be purchasing uh, at least three different um, products to help treat my septum and see how they work for me because like I mentioned before it's not a one-size-fits-all it's not like oh if I absolutely buy this it's definitely gonna work for me so I just have to try and see you know trial and error period and um, one of the things I want to purchase is um, a shampoo that will have the ketocombs oil in it and two different face cl cleansing, how do you say it? Two different face cleansers and um, one of them is like something that I've researched about called a Z-Bar and another is the Neutrogena um, oil, I think it's oil free acne, acne wash and I kind of want to see what alternating those two things will do for my face and see how they work for me and if they work for me and if they don't work for me they might work for you so I will share them with you guys. If you're someone who has this condition as well and you have ever felt like this before you know like this video and share it or if you're someone who has this condition and deals with it a lot better than me Maybe share some of your remedies with me. Maybe um, comment what you do to treat rather than hide your condition. Thank you guys for watching today's video. I know it was a lot different than the normal content that I post, but I just felt like I should sit down, talk to you, open up the floor, and just put it out there, you know? So... As always, peace and love, good vibes, good energy, and I'll be back with more.